Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Scorpio, because I had so many people comment and send emails about it, um, people said that they missed it when I posted it the first time, I am going to put the person on your mind sale again. We're going to post that again, okay? Um, for the next couple days, you guys can receive that recorded video reading for $22, and it covers their thoughts and feelings towards you, their intentions and next actions towards you, the challenge between the two of you, as well as the potential outcome. Okay, and everything that you'll need to know about scheduling is in the description box below for you. All right, Scorpio, so let's take a look at the energy of your love life this week. So the energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with their feelings towards you, we have the Nine of Swords. Their intentions, we have the Five of Swords. Their actions and behaviors, we have the Two of Wands. Your feelings towards them, we have the Two of Pentacles. Challenge between the two of you, we have the Devil. In the potential outcome, we have the Three of Wands. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's a woodpecker outside of the window. Okay. I feel like somebody's upset, Scorpio. Okay. The thing that's the the phrase that's kind of coming to mind is I feel like somebody kind of won an argument. It was that expression people say, like you won the battle, but you lost the war, you know, something like that. Um, I feel like that's something like that's going on with this person. I feel like you guys could have had words with this person. And I feel like even though they feel like they won that fight, um, I feel like it has very negatively impacted the connection. It could have caused a separation. I mean, I feel like now they're kind of questioning like, you know, did I really win? Like, yeah, I might have won that fight, but was it really worth it? Uh, I don't feel like they feel like it is. I'm really drawn to even here on the, I don't know if you guys can see this. Well, can't get it away from the weird sun. But down here on the bed here, there are like two people fighting with each other here in the images at the bottom. So I do. I feel like, I feel that here. I feel like you guys could have had a fight. And I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like they're laying in bed kind of like replaying everything over and over. And I feel like they're upset. I feel like they're having a hard time sleeping about it. Like, man, I can't believe I actually said that. Like, I can't believe I went that far or, you know, that kind of thing here. There, and I feel like they do have love for you here. That's the overall energy. Um, you got the King of Cups. I feel like you do love each other. I feel like this person, you know, the King of Cups can also talk about being in control over your emotions, not allowing the different things, you know, outside of yourself to get you outside of yourself. And I feel like this person is realizing that's something that they need to work on here because they have the Six of Swords right here, which is a transition and forward movement. I feel like somebody is realizing that maybe they have some temper issues or something like that that they need to work on, you know, not allowing other things to get them outside of the person that they're trying to be. So I do, I feel like somebody could have really said some really hurtful things or below the belt things type here Scorpio but somebody's definitely having some regrets about that even here their intentions the five of swords now on the five of swords like it can be a card by any means necessary you know I feel like that's the energy that the person was in when you guys were arguing it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna win I'm gonna get this but now he's kind of looking back like he did win but he's looking back at these people are walking away from him you know, he's looking at what it cost him and he's asking himself, you know, was it really worth it? It's also a card of feeling very conflicted. You know, I feel like somebody is feeling conflicted. I feel like they are kind of reassessing the situation, going back over things, having some remorse here as well. 
we have this two of wands here for their next actions two of wands i feel like they're getting ready to make a decision like should i reach should i bother to like try to work things out with scorpio or is it best for me just to leave this behind i do feel like this situation has been very eye-opening to this person scorpio because their their challenge is showing up as the devil like i and with this king of king of cups and six of swords energy i feel like somebody is really seeing their own toxicity like their own net like their own things that they need to work on and i feel like that could be kind of a big deal for this person because I, I honestly feel like this could be somebody who has a hard time seeing their part in things like taking accountability and i feel like this the situation has been very eye-opening for them because i feel like they are seeing their own toxic behaviors um i do feel like there's a two, you got two twos here so i definitely feel like a decision is getting ready to be made when it comes to this connection i feel like you both could have a decision you know this person is deciding you know should i bother trying to work things out with scorpio here should i reach out should i say you know should i apologize um, but I feel like you also have a choice. Like, are you going to allow this person to re-enter your life after whatever happened here? So your energy showing up as the two of pentacles. I feel like that's coming through as a double thing. You know, the, I feel like you guys have a lot going on in your life, Scorpio. I feel like you have a lot on your plate, a lot that you're responsible for. And I do feel like right now, you're just trying to keep it all together. You know, I think it's been very challenging over the last year for you guys in a lot of different ways. There's just been a lot going on. The Two of Pentacles can be a part of just managing things, right? Keeping things afloat. Now, I also feel the Two of Pentacles can talk about um, you know, going back and forth, making a decision here. And I feel like you do kind of go back and forth on whether this is something that you should uh, give another opportunity or not, or something you should allow or not, because you do have a lot of love for this person as well. Potential outcome is a three of wands. We're going to see what that is. Three of wands can definitely be a card of sending something out. It can be a card of waiting. It can be a card of having hope and positive expectations. So we'll just kind of see how that plays out into your reading but we're going to start to clarify a few things here tell me about this nine of swords energy why is this nine of swords here for scorpio please i got the empress and the four of swords so the four of swords can definitely talk about silence no communication separation um I also feel like this person is just struggling with rest in general because I feel like they're in their head about this. But the queen, or but the empress to me, I feel like it's kind of how they're seeing you at this time. And I'm not saying that this person feels like you are perfect, Scorpio. I'm not saying that, but I feel like in this moment, like your, how do I want to say that? Like your good qualities and your values are like your value is standing out more to them in this moment. You know, and I feel like that's normal. Like when we lose something, we focus more on, you know, all of the good things about that. And that's kind of what I feel like they're doing here. Tell me about this five of swords. Tell me about this five of swords here. Why is that here for Scorpio? We have the moon. And the Ten of Cups. So to me, this is like somebody's not sure if you guys are going to be able to get back to a good space or not. They may have feel like whatever they've done or said may to be too much to come back from. You know, I feel like Scorpios have really big heart. I'm a Scorpio too, so I definitely understand this. You know, I think Scorpios do really have a, a big heart, but I, I do also feel, and they're very forgiving. Surprisingly, I feel like people give Scorpios a bad rap on that. I, I As a Scorpio, I, I feel like I'm very forgiving, but I also understand that there is a, a limit on that, right? And once a certain line is crossed, that's all. That's it. That's all. And I kind of feel like this person is worried about that here. They're kind of worried that whatever they've done or said, it may have crossed that line where they may not be sure. Tell me about this two of wands here. Got this eight of pentacles. King of Pentacles. So I do feel like somebody is get they could be wanting to step out of a comfort zone and come in, and come and work on this with you and take things more seriously, be more committed, be more dedicated. And I feel like they are seeing a lot of their uh shadow aspects right now. Tell me about this devil energy. Clarified by the devil. So I feel like they are really seeing their toxic ways here. And I feel like that's something else they're realizing that maybe they've been this way for a long time and there's certain things that they're really gonna have to put work in on. Tell me about this three of wands. Why is that the outcome? We got the temperance and the three of cups. You know, the temperance to me is kind of like the opposite energy of the devil. The devil is an energy of excess. 
Um, the temperance is an energy of moderation. And the thing is with the, the devil energy and this toxic energy and this behaviors that they are recognizing that they've had for a long time, people don't change like that overnight. We can have some eye-opening moments and we can start to work on things, but they, they say old habits die hard, you know, and change is difficult. It takes time and it takes practice to be aware of those things and work on those things. And I feel like somebody is doing that here, but I feel like Spirit is also wanting you to understand, Scorpio, that with this person, you know, there is going to be, you know, you are going to have to wait. You know, there is going to be a period of time where someone's adjusting and working through these we have the Three of Cups here. I think it's possible for you guys to reconcile if that's something that you want, okay? But there's going to need to be a lot of time and patience here. I do think it's very positive that this person is having a lot of this awareness, this eye-opening moment of some of their own toxic, you know, energy. But it's still not going to change overnight. So that's just something to be aware of. Only you guys get to decide what's best for you, okay? But that is what I have for you. I do hope that it helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you soon.